clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Friday Night Lights moments. I was filling up the truck, and I was rolling out of town, and I just wanted to come by and uh, congratulate you because it worked out just the way you wanted. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most memorable moments from the critically acclaimed show Friday Night Lights. A spoiler alert is in effect. Number 10. Uphill Sprints in the Rain Coach Taylor is famous for his rallying cry, clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Can't lose! But this time it's Smash who inspires the team with these powerful words. When the team resorts to infighting, arrogance, and apathy on and off the field, Coach Taylor whips them into shape by making them run uphill wind sprints in the pouring rain. You think you're champions because you wear the Panther uniform? You're wrong! You think you're champions because they give you a piece of pie at the diner? You're wrong! Just when it seems like they're ready to give up, Smash rallies the team with Coach's battle cry, and they band together as a team. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. This is easily one of the most memorable scenes of the show. Number 9. Smash Leads a Protest Speaking of Smash, the rain sprints are not the only time he inspired the team. Guys like Smash and Baxter and even Voodoo, they, they got a natural gift for running the ball. All three are black. Yeah. Are you saying this gift has something to do with their skin color? What I'm saying, Karen, and I'm saying it in a good way, is that guys like Smash are, are fearless. They're dangerous. They're like junkyard dogs. After Coach McGill makes a racist comment to a reporter about Smash and black football players in general, Smash has an apathetic viewpoint at first, but he quickly begins to see things differently and realizes he should not remain silent. He unites the other black players to take a stand, and they all walk out of practice with him. He does return with them for the big game, but Smash makes it very clear to Mac exactly where he stands. We never got a chance to talk. About what? Well, about what you said and how you may or may not perceive black players. What I perceive, other than football, is none of your business. Oh. I'm just trying to have a dialogue. Smash's carefree nature is a great part of his character, but equally as great as the side of him that stands up for what's important. Number 8. Mindy Stands Up For Becky When Tim goes to prison, he promises Becky that his family is her family. If she's not around and if I can't be there, I want you to know that if you need anything, at any time, I promise you that they will be there. So she goes to them for a place to stay when her mom is out of town and her dad leaves her alone with her stepmom. Mindy hates having Becky around and is not afraid to show it. Can I help you? Um, yeah, I was just wondering if I could have some girls over here tomorrow for the dance planning committee. Who? So you'd think that she'd be relieved when Becky's father ordered her back home. But as Mindy drives her back home and she sees how terrible her situation is, she fights for Becky and brings her back to the Riggins house indefinitely. Is there a problem here? Who the hell are you? I'm a friend. Well, good for you. We're her family. You're not my I'm family. your dad, babe. Come on, let's go. Yeah, Come you know me. what? Let go. Yeah, Becky, get back the in the house. car. Get There's no question about it. Becky and the Riggins are family. He said that since I'm not coming home that they're going to go back to Seattle. Good. Let him go. You stay here. I will babysit for you. I will do the dishes. Oh, I will clean the house. Shut up. No, you just stay here, okay? Number seven. Riggins takes the fall for his brother. On the surface, Tim Riggins comes off as a pretty self-serving guy. All he really thinks about is women and beer, and what's going to be the most fun for him. Yeah, I feel really awful about that. Though people have a tendency to write him off as nothing more than a drunken delinquent, deep down, as Coach Taylor puts it several times, he is a truly honorable man. You realize what an honorable thing that is? That is very honorable. Thank you, sir. When the Riggins brothers get in trouble for running a chop shop, Tim decides to take the fall for everything so that Billy can be there for his wife and newborn son. I took the money. No. I took the frames to the junkyard. I can't let you do that. You are my brother. You are all I have. You have a family now. Number six. Tyra's college essay. 
Tyra had such a hard time trying to make something of herself. What should I write about my trashy oh. family? About the fact that my, my sister's a stripper or my mom is a high school dropout who drinks boxes of wine like it's water? No one ever expected anything from her, so she never expected anything from herself. But when she became friends with Julie and Landry and Mrs. Taylor started looking out for her, Tyra started changing for the better. I don't know, I became friends with Julie and Mrs. Taylor started to take some interest in me, started doing my homework. You. I met you. She worked so hard her last couple of semesters to get into college, and she had so much going against her. It's such a satisfying moment when she opens her acceptance letter with Landry. Even more heartwarming is the scene where Tyra reads her college essay out to Landry. It's not that I think I'm going to get all these things. I just want the possibility of getting them. College represents possibility. The possibility that things are going to change. It's such a beautiful moment encompassing all of the great things Tyra learned about herself. Number 5. East Dillon Lions Beat the Dillon Panthers The Dillon Panthers used to be an aspiring force throughout the first three seasons of the show, but after all the main character players graduated and the McCoys took over, they turned them into a bunch of elitist, entitled jerks. Coach should have never taken me out of the game, Saracen. I just felt sorry for you, is all. You suck. What's up, Matt, Matt. Just shut up. Saracen, you suck! I know you this wasn't a panther party. This is my deal now! So we all wanted to see the Lions destroy them. What kind of a man am I? Because Friday night, Friday night, there will be a bond formed between and among you that will never be broken. I will not be proven wrong on that. And they did just that. Coming from behind in the game, the Lions make an epic comeback and take down the Panthers, winning the first big cat game. Landry even kicks a spectacular field goal to get the win and is the hero of the game. It's gone! Oh my! Number four, it's Tammy's turn. Tammy and Coach get into a huge fight when she's offered a job in Philly, and he's offered the job as the new head coach of the East-West Super Team. I don't want to talk about this. I can't talk about it right now. How many times have we moved before? Coach is very bullheaded about the situation, but Tammy sticks to her guns, that she has been a coach's wife for years and has followed him around everywhere, and now it's her turn to have her dream job. You know what, honey? I have been a coach's wife for 18 years. 18. Mm -hmm. Well aware of that. Every decision this family has made has been based on your coaching career. I don't see why we can't look at something else beyond football. You can't really argue with Tammy's logic there. After some reflection, Coach has a change of heart and gives a lovely speech to his wife about how much he appreciates her. Turn the contract now. It's your turn. I want to go to Philadelphia. Really, babe? Would you take me to Philadelphia with you, please? We spent five seasons watching Tammy support all of Coach's career moves, even sometimes against her better judgment. So it's no better payoff that now it's her turn. Number three, the Dillon Panthers win the state championship. No one thought that the Panthers had a shot at state. You up for this? Yes, sir. Not after star quarterback Jason Street's career-ending injury in the first game of the season, but we'll get back to that later. However, Coach Taylor and Matt Saracen prove all the naysayers wrong and lead them to an unforgettable state championship victory. Having quickly dug themselves into a deep hole during the first half of the game, the Panthers pull together for one of their patented rallies and make an amazing comeback to take the game. Saracen even calls the game-winning play himself. Oh, I got the play. What's Riggins wants an 18-yard cross, smash, mirrors him on the other side. I'm going to hit Riggins, and he's going to come underneath the defense, and they're going to collapse on him, but he's going to pitch it to smash. That's an 18-yard hook and ladle. That'll never work. You sure, don't. Matt. You can run work. this play. You can do this. Number two, first game. As mentioned at the beginning of the series, quarterback Jason Street suffers a life-changing injury that leaves him paralyzed from the waist down. Give all of us gathered here tonight the strength to remember that life is so very fragile. We are all vulnerable. We will all, at some point in our lives, fall. 
For him, this game was a tragedy. But within the context of the story and character development, there was no better way to launch the series. After Street gets hurt, it's up to Matt Saracen, who's never seen any game time, to win the game. We got a chance to win this game. The intensity of the game, Street's injury, Coach Taylor's inspiring speech, and Matt Saracen's absolutely unbelievable game-winning deep pass set the standard for what to expect from this show. Oh man, can this kid throw the ball? He's got the lead wide open. He's got it at the 20. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Street returns for homecoming. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's honorary Dylan captain, number six, Jason Street. <laughs> Matt and Julie's first kiss. <laughs> Riggins helps Street get the girl. What if Aaron says no? What if we buy these suits and I go and I get a job, I don't get a job, and I show up at her doorstep and I ask her to take the bank? She says no. I don't know, man. You can play that what if game all day. I, I believe you're doing the right thing. Buddy follows Coach Taylor to East Dillon. And Joe, I tried. But ever since you got here, you have been a cancer to me, you've been a cancer to my friends, and you've been a cancer to this team. And just one more thing I want to say is clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Coach Taylor's burning jersey speech. See this, gentlemen? This right here, this is the past. Who wants to finish this fight? Who will finish this fight with me? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You'll have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Everyone's Happy Ending The ending of the show is the epitome of what the show is all about. Hope, family, and football. Julie Taylor. Will he marry me? Yes. <laughs> In the finale, Riggins and Tyra reunite with Matt and Julie. Matt and Julie get engaged, the Riggins brothers make amends, and of course, the Lions win state. 63 yards. You've got to give the receivers time. Yes, sir. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Vince Howard to the line. If the dream is going to happen, it has to happen right now. We feel the bitter sweetness of their victory as we saw them grow over the years into state champs. We also see that Luke graduates and enlists, but is still happily with Becky. The remaining Lions are playing on the super team. Jess is now studying to be a coach. Taylor and Tammy are at their new jobs in Philly. And Matt and Julie are together in Chicago. There's no better ending than all of our favorite characters getting the happy endings they deserve. You ready to go home? Yeah, let's go. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.